संवत्सर चोवीस आनी चलत आयी वो चलता हूँ ती परिषदीक वाट मोनान धर तैयार के वेर सगल्या भावार्थान ये मगणे हंगा सोर करूया आनीक तैयारी सुरवत दिवया सगली उबी रहा बरबर ये मगणे करूया सर्वेस्परा देवा हम मोगा बापा काला का मनशांक आपयत आकारत आटयत बाइन फ्रांसी शावेर आपसवासोक तीन वाजता हूँ तुझा पुत कुर्स नदर ती रन ते मौन बदलप जाले संवसारी मान सोड़न मिशनारी उर्बेन शिव वर्तमान तो दिरादीक परगटनार जो ता रैलिक दोबाशीक दाखोणी तेज दोन वसवार पंचवीस उत्सवीक वर्षा तैयार जाना पवित्र कुर्स बोलान एक चार तिराई तुझा उतर उसवाडान आरिषदीक मनान तुवे दिल्ले मिसाव सहभागेपणान फुढ़ वरूंक पाला उसवाड़ अवीत आत्म स्फूर्ते संसार बरवासो दिखली शिव वर्तमान की उर्बेवन परगटनारा कर आमेन Lifting up our hearts and mind, putting all our intentions before our heavenly Father, we begin this Holy Eucharist in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. beloved brothers and sisters we have come to the final day of our preparation for the feast of saint francis xavier the theme of today's novena is strive to bring newness within the church from the time that jesus founded the church she has from time to time under the inspiration of the holy spirit been taking steps on the path of renewal 
A church that renews herself constantly is a dynamic church. And a dynamic church is a missionary church. St. Francis Xavier, while remaining faithful to his vocation and mission, carried on his ministry with passion and devotion and brought renewal within the church. Drawing inspiration from St. Francis Xavier, let us pray in faith and humbleness in this holy sacrifice of the Mass for the grace to be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit and imbibe the vision that the Church gives from time to time while moving on the path of renewal and newness. And for the time we have failed to remain open to the promptings of the Spirit, to bring newness in life, to bring newness around us, let us be sorry for such sins and other sins. And seeking the compassion of the Father, we together say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, 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 have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Christ, 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 have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, to resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thou, O Lord, art our Father, our Redeemer from of old is thy name. O Lord, why dost thou make us err from thy ways and harden our heart so that we fear thee not? Return for the sake of thy servants the tribes of thy heritage. O oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains might quake at thy presence. From of old no one has heard or perceived by the ear. No eye has seen a God besides you or perceived by the ear who works for those who wait for him. Thou meetest him that joyfully works righteousness, those that remember thee in thy ways. Behold, thou wast angry, and we sinned, and shall we be saved? We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a polluted garment. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one that calls upon thy name. 
that bestows himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast delivered us into the hand of our iniquities. Yet, O Lord, thou art our Father, we are the clay, and thou art our porter. We are all the work of thy hand. The word of the Lord. Our response shall be. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us. And we shall be saved. All together. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. Shine forth from your cherubim throne. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. Response. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. God of Israel, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this wine and protect it the vine your right hand has planted. Response. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. Response. O oh God, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to God always for you because of the grace of God which was given you in Christ Jesus, that in every way you were enriched in him with all speech and all knowledge even as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ who will sustain you to the end guiltless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly rise for the gospel. Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take heed, watch, and pray. For you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his servant in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crow, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and finds you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> My dear brothers and sisters, there was this pencil which was coming out of a factory and the pencil maker was trying to put this pencil in the box. And while this pencil maker was putting the pencil in the box, he said to the pencil, remember these five things. The first thing, great things will happen in your life. Great things will happen in your life if you allow yourselves to be handled by others. If you allow yourself to be handled by others. The second thing, there will be painful sharpening. We all know, if the pencil has to write well, it has to be sharpened. The third thing, you will be able to correct your own mistakes. The mistakes that you do, you will be able to correct your own mistakes. The fourth thing, what you are within is the most important thing. What you are within is the most important thing. And the last thing and the final thing, when you write, leave a mark. My dear brothers and sisters, we can apply all these five things to ourselves. First thing, great things will happen in our life when we allow ourselves to be handled by God. When we place our lives in the hands of God, God will touch us, God would heal us, God would protect us, God would defend us, God would lead us also. The second thing, painful sharpening. The crosses that we all have, the sicknesses that we are in, the turmoil, the tensions, the problems that we have in our families, in our workplaces, all these are our painful sharpenings. The third thing, we will be able to correct our own mistakes. All of us commit so many mistakes in our life. And when we go for confession, we realize what mistakes we have done. We try to change ourselves. You will be able to correct your own mistakes by the grace of God. The fourth thing, what we are within is the most important thing. Sometimes we forget that all of us are created in the image and likeness of God. God has created us, each one of us in his goodness. We forget that thing. That we are good within. What we are within is the most important thing. And finally, let us leave our mark while living good lives. All of us are blessed with so many gifts and talents. And God looks forward for each one of us. By a good life, good Christian life, let us leave a mark on this earth. My dear brothers and sisters, today we come at the end of the novenas, the final day of novena. And tomorrow, 
with great grandeur we will be celebrating the feast of saint francis xavier the theme for our reflection is like saint francis xavier let us strive to bring newness within the church well did saint francis xavier brought some newness in the church he did he called the children on the street he was singing and dancing with them he took them to the churches and chapels and finally he taught them a catechism for the people grown up people saint francis xavier taught them beautiful songs and all the songs were interwoven with the catechism of the church the people were singing their songs but finally they were getting catechized this and many more ways saint francis xavier spread this newness in the church he brought renewal in the church and we witnessed this great faith of forefathers and even now and in the generations to come my dear brothers and sisters as we talk about the newness that we all are called to bring into this church i would say the first thing let us be open to the promptings of the holy spirit the church is a church which looks for renewal a church which look, looks for renewal is a church missionary church is always charismatic it is always looking for renewal talking about ourselves when there are birthday celebrations when there are anniversaries when there is christmas feasts and other functions all of us want to wear new clothes it makes sense we want to pre present ourselves as new human beings for that occasion and saint paul very beautifully reminds all of us in his letter to the romans chapter 13 verse 12 let us cast away the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light what a beautiful saying saint paul tells us that is to do over with all that is evil let us put on the new clothing of christ and be new human beings listening to the promptings of the holy spirit and moving on with the newness in the church secondly i would say let us stand with the church we all know what covid did for all of us so many restrictions we were not allowed to go to the church if we were going small number this and that restrictions but we all listened to the church we all stood by the church covid when everything was back to normal all of us came but there were some still standing waiting for some more renewal sometimes we see among us there are people who will always bring this harmony who will always work for the division in the church some of us are fascinated with new thinking some of us think that these are new principles of life but they are not standing with the church instead of become peace makers instead of becoming people who are bringing harmony in the church we become peace breakers bring this harmony in the church standing with the church meaning we stand for peace the liturgy of today invites us to be peace makers standing with the church all the time the third thing i would say to be faithful faithful in two things the first thing faithful to the reading of the scriptures the reading of the bible you will tell me father what are you telling we all know how many books are there in the old testament how many gospels are there in the new testament how many letters are there when the priest is reading the gospel we all know what would be the conclusion of the parable but i would say every time we listen to the word of god we read the word of god god speaks to us god wants to comfort us god wants to direct us not one day and the reading of the bible is over every day of our life that's why i would say being faithful to the reading of the bible every day god wants to speak to us let's listen to him secondly i would say faithful to the traditions of the church 
we all know there are so many traditions given to us by the church to name a few the devotion to our blessed mother which is dear to all of us also there is a devotion to the divine mercy chaplet some of us will get up at 3 o'clock in the morning some in, in the afternoon some any time in the day some will also move ahead with the devotion to the sacred heart of jesus to the immaculate heart of mary to the devotion to many saints these are all traditions which have helped our forefathers which have helped us to grow in faith let us stand firm with this traditions of the church my dear brothers and sisters today we step into the new liturgical year and today being the first sunday of advent the first reading is taken from the book of prophet isaiah prophet isaiah tells us he acknowledges the presence of god the power and divinity of god in his life all of us are called to acknowledge this magnanimity the powerfulness the healing touch of our god secondly isaiah talks about a sinful nature all of us love this sinful nature that is with us we don't want to part away sometimes we think oh i am at home i don't commit any sin but every time we move ahead in life we fall into sin that's why this realization is very important that we are sinful we should know that we are sinful and we realize that when we are sinful there is a time for change god looks for that change and finally in the first reading we find isaiah beautifully presents before us that god is the potter and we are the clay we are the work of his hands let god lead us let god teach us let god heal us god is a potter we are the clay we are the work of his hands and in the gospel reading we are reminded of the master who left everything and went far away in the hands of his servants and the servant took care all of us as we prepare ourselves in this season of advent prepare ourselves well there'll be a lot of preparations going around us outsiders the crib the decorations the stars let us also look within us as the pencil was reminded finally to leave a mark when it writes let us also remind ourselves we come only once on this earth let us then by this virtuous and good christian life let us leave a mark like saint francis xavier who really brought newness into the church and spread the faith to all the people of the world let us also then by living good lives let us leave a mark and let us move ahead with the newness of life in the church may the lord bless us and help us in this endeavor amen kindly rise profess our faith in a triune god as we together say i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell on the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. We are all called to bring newness in life. And to bring this newness, we need the help of our Heavenly Father. At this moment, let us put forth our prayers asking God to assist us in bringing newness in life. That our church leaders, while striving to bring newness in the church, may make use of the novel and modern methods of proclaiming the gospel of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord
hear our prayer. That our Christian civil leaders may recognize their office as a gift of God and carry out their duties in faithfulness, watchfulness, and humbleness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That we, the Christian faithful, may be open to the Holy Spirit and under His inspiration renew our lives and walk the path of newness that the church from time to time guides us to follow. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Saint Francis Xavier served the church without measure and spent his life in bringing newness in her life and mission. That, that by drawing inspiration from his life, we may make use of the new and modern means that go with the times and situations to carry forth the mission of evangelization. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us silently pray for our personal needs. Heavenly Father, at this moment we have placed few of our needs before you. There are many more within our hearts and in our mind. We ask your blessings. May your spirit guide us at every step. That through the guidance of the spirit we may be energized to bring newness in life and make life more enthusiastic in witnessing Christ by our words, deeds and actions. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for the good and good of all his holy church. Accept we pray O Lord these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
indeed the fount of all holiness make holy therefore the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread giving thanks he broke it gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. I remember also our brothers and sisters who have uh, fallen asleep in the hope of the uh, resurrection uh, and all who have died in your uh, mercy, uh, welcome them into the light of your face. Uh, have mercy on us all, we pray, uh, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her uh, spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have uh, pleased you uh, throughout the ages. Uh, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and uh, glorify you uh, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. That we may always remain open to the promptings of the Spirit to bring newness in our own self and to spread this newness in the church, we pray in the words Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, at this moment you say to each one of us, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us joyfully offer the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the one who brought newness and the goodness of God the Father on earth. Today he invites us to be open to him so that we may be used to bring newness in life. Happy are we who are called to be strengthened in this meal. Lord, I am unworthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. While we greatly appreciate the presence of members of other religion at this Mass, we would like to remind you that only those who have received baptism in the Catholic Church may kindly come forward to receive Holy Communion. The others are requested to remain seated in prayerful so solidarity. Catholic Dharman Zani Bautisma to Sanskar Gatla, Foktanis Kuminam Gyong Doni Bazuni, Fuden Sotche. Catholic Dharma Madhe Zani Baptism Sanskar Gatli Ahe Tianit Chris Prasad Swikarabe Jinone Catholic Kalisia Me Baptism Sanskar Grahan Kiahe Behi Param Prasad Grahan Karnigele Age Ai Desire and I long 
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We thank Father Milchester Furtado for celebrating the Holy Eucharist and also Father Cipriano Dias for breaking the word of God for us. We also thank Father Seville Antao who took charge of the choir for the Mass. Timing for Masses on the first day are as follows. Morning, 3.45, 5 o'clock, 6.15, 7.30, 8.45 and 10.30, which is the first Mass. In the evening, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock, which is in English. Those who wish to offer flowers or monetary contribution to buy them during the first day may do so in Basilica control room or liturgical help desk. Please take good care of your personal belongings. If anyone finds any lost item, kindly report to Basilica control room. In case of any complaint of a missing person, kindly approach the police control room or basilica control room. In case you come across any suspicious items, kindly report it to the police. On 5th, there are masses in the morning as follows, 6 a.m., 7, 8, and 9.15, which is in English. Kindly rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing as we respond Amen after each prayer. May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ Edwin and enrich you by His blessings. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, May he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with the devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. The Mass is ended. Let us go joyfully to bring newness in the church and in our life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We shall all recite the Novena prayer together. O devoted servant of God, St. Francis Saviour, your heart was burning with love for Jesus. Impelled by his love, you went from country to country and spent yourself unto death proclaiming the name of Jesus and the good news of salvation. That is why the Father filled you with glory in heaven and preserved your body from corruption here on earth. Filled with joy for these unique gifts, we join you in praising the Father. And now we ask your intercession for ourselves. Kindly put forth your intercessions. We ask you to obtain for us the fulfillment of these desires if they are pleasing to the Father and for everything together with you. We praise the Father through Jesus in the Spirit. Amen. Oh, 
announcement to all our volunteers kindly come here soon after the mass thank you good night to all of you